over the years I spent 10,000 hours designing sites like this in Elementor. So here is what actually matters if you want to build stunning websites in minutes, not days. First of all, this is the canvas where all your designs come to life. And this is the Elementor editor panel where you'll find all the design elements. And this is what we'll cover. First, we'll focus on how to build a beautiful site. Then the Elementor basics. And number three, why most Elementor websites look amateur and how to fix this. All the don'ts and Elementor free versus the pro version. Lastly, we'll cover all the golden nuggets that I collected through the years. Let's get into it. Number one. So I always start with the hero section here. So grab a container like this at a background image like this for example and then I'll just make it full height so now we have a really great starting point then let's go over to the other widgets and find this heading and drag it in at this background overlay which is really cool quick tip here pick backgrounds where the text feels like a natural part of the design like here you can see it's perfectly placed to the left side and here's another example I use this trick in my designs so let's say that we want the visitors to take action. Then I'll just drag in the button here. And now it suddenly looks like a real website, right? But we are missing something. And this is a really cool trick if you want to look like a pro. I'll create a new container here above. I'll just choose this one, make it uh, black and drag in the logo to the left side and drag in the menu here over to the right side and also add a button. So now comes the cool part. I'll just click on the container's background, remove it and then click on the other container, give it this minus margin. So now you can see we suddenly have a transparent container, which is really cool. Let's preview it. I really love this, but let's take it a step further because the background can also be a video like this, for example, or even this one. And later in the video, I'll also show you where you can get images and videos like this for free. So everything I just showed you was actually made using only these widgets but it's hard to reinvent the wheel every time and build something from scratch so i'll recommend that you find this icon folder and search for for example about and choose one section that's already been made for example this one now we have a great starting point and i can quickly match this to the other designs tone hold on there you go. And one thing that's really handy is that if you click this container and navigate to these arrows, you can change the direction of the entire container. What I really like to do, and this is a really nice trick, is that I use this one and then I go up in the container and duplicate. So now you have two containers and then I choose the original container again and change it back. So now you suddenly have two sections that you can use but two elements of basics. All right, so I'm not going to go through all the boring stuff you will forget anyway. But one essential thing you need to know is that we only work with the body of a website so far. But the header and the footer are just as important. And they are the first elements of basics you should know. So to create a header, go up here in this icon and find this theme builder. Here you can choose the header and the footer. I'll just click the header and Elementor will suggest some templates you can start with. So I'll just choose this one. It's not the prettiest one but it's a great starting point so I'll just quickly style it done so if I now go to a new page you can see we have this new header here instead and as a little bonus I actually made it sticky so no matter where the customers are on the page they can always find it before we move on to the next part which is actually my favorite part of this video there's one more essential thing you need to know and that's how to make your website responsive if I click on the top of Elementor editor we have this mobile view, the tablet view, and a desktop view. If I select mobile, I can now see how everything looks on a phone. So I'll just quickly customize everything here, and then I can show you the final result here. Why most Elementor pages look amateur and how to fix it. So what's the number one thing that makes Elementor designs look next level? The answer is right here. Look at these two designs. What's the difference? Why does this one look so much better? It's because of the high quality images. And I almost feel like this is a secret because I'm using this free tool to create all the images. And you can actually find all my images here and use them if you want to. And you can see here, if I click one of the images, that it's completely free to use and you can use it anywhere. So you don't need any license. Elementor Pro versus the free version. Here you can see the full comparison. But the main difference is that you don't get access to all the widgets. But in my opinion, the 
biggest downside is that you don't get a header and footer. But there is a workaround to this. You can actually just use this plugin if you don't want to pay for the pro plan. Let me know in the comments if you want a quick guide on how to do this. Or five, don't do this. So imagine that you just built an entire website. Then you find out that everything that was supposed to be orange actually was meant to be green instead. Now you have to go and change every single color manually, one by one. That's why you should always use global colors. With global colors, you you can change it once and it updates everywhere. Number six, bonus tips. Use images of people, especially faces, because people buy from people, not brains. Use parallax effects on background images like this one. To achieve this, go into style and set this to fixed. So now when you scroll down, the image is revealed. Match the design colors with the images. If there's green in the photo, use green in the layout. It makes a big difference. Use the navigator panel to get a clear overview of your design. To activate it, you need to right click and choose navigator here. It's super helpful and you will use it more than you think. Don't use white backgrounds. Use a soft gray like this cool section. Earlier in this video, I showed you a bunch of beautiful designs, but I didn't teach you how to build them step by step. So if you want to follow along and copy exactly the same design, then watch this video next.